hello everyone welcome back in this session uh, let us see some uh, daily life activities where we can see the thermal expansion in solids and we will discuss about the bimetallic strip coming to the uh, daily experiences where we can see this uh, thermal expansion in solids if you observe the railway tracks the gaps are uh, left between the track and track so why the gap is left means in summer days due to heat the track will expand we know that the solids will expand due to heating so the track also will expand and due to this expansion there may be buckling of the tracks or there may be a breakage between the tracks so to avoid that the gaps are left between the railway tracks and next if a hot water is taken into a tumbler due to the extreme heat the tumbler may break and if you observe the electric poles also electric poles while arranging the wires they are loosely stretched if you observe the uh, wires if this is a pole this is a pole the wire seems to be like this they are loosely structured so to avoid uh, due to thermal expansion or due to the contraction the wires may be break so to avoid that they are loosely structured and if a cold water drop falls on a hot chimney or a hot bulb it will break that is due to uneven contraction see buckling of tracks or uh, <clears throat> what is this uh, hot water poured into the tumbler uh, they will break due to uneven expansion but here when a cold water drop falls on a hot chimney or a hot bulb it will break due to uneven contraction so wherever the uh, cold drop falls on it uh, the contraction takes place at that place remaining place it will be as usual so due to that uneven contraction takes place and it will break so in the same way in a chemistry lab if you observe uh, if you heat the test tube to suddenly kept under the tap water then the test tube also may break that is also due to uneven contraction so in this way we can observe so many phenomena about the thermal expansion of solids due to thermal expansion of solids or due to that contraction there will be breakage or any phenomena we can observe in the daily life and now coming to the bimetallic strip bimetallic strip see it is uh, the combination of two metals the two metals which have different quotient of linear expansion for example you consider this is a metal brass and this is a metal steel so this is having a some quotient of linear expansion alpha 1 and this is having a quotient of linear expansion alpha 2 both are having some different quotient of linear expansions and both are of same size and they are riveted they are joined as a single strip actually they are two metals but they are joined as a single strip so that such type of strip is called as bimetallic strip and they are of same length and they are having same length at some uh, T degree Celsius. So, when this uh, and if you observe the quotient of linear expansion of brass and steel, quotient of uh, linear expansion of brass is greater than quotient of linear expansion of steel. That means brass will expand more if you compare with steel. So, due to that, if you uh, apply some heat to this uh, bimetallic strip. the bimetallic strip will bend like this in this way it will bend 
this is as we know this is brass and this is steel S brass is expanding more than steel and on the surface of brass it will be a convex surface and at the steel it is a concave surface so the expansion of brass is greater than steel so that's why it will bend like this and these bimetallic strips are used in many ways if you take fire alarms in fire alarms the bimetallic strip is used so if any fire catches suddenly so it is heated and it is bent uh, such that see a circuit is uh, given like this so we can make the circuit on when it is bent or we may do like this also uh, if it is cold again if we cool the same strip it will come into its normal state so uh, in some phenomena or in some situations we may make the circuit close when it is tight see in fire alarms this will happen it will bend and the fire circuit will be on and the fire alarm will ring or in uh, electric grazers which we are using for hot water so there also these strips are used when the water is up to uh, some extent it will automatically off and when the water is again cold again it automatically ons so that is due to this bimetallic strips and in iron box also this bimetallic strips are used see uh, if the iron box is getting less i mean if the heat is reducing it will on again and if it is uh, uh, heat is uh, getting more again it will off so do uh, for maintaining the automatic on and off this bimetallic strips are used in many places and coming to application of this uh, bimetallic strip here we will uh, uh, find out the radius radius of the bimetallic strip yes this is a bimetallic strip and due to heating it bends and this is having a length l1 brass and this is having a length l2 steel so at t degree celsius they are having this lens and the quotient of linear expansion of brass is alpha 1 and quotient of linear expansion of steel is alpha 2 and now so if you draw a line like this so it bends to some angle that angle i am naming it as phi and from the center of the strip to this place so this is the radius r and here this is the center of the brass strip and this is the center of the steel strip dotted lines and from this dotted line from the center of the brass strip to steel strip so that is the distance d and now if i want the length of the brass l1 l1 equal to or initially let me consider that length equal to radius into angle phi radius into angle phi so for that l1 equal to radius is r no so r and not exactly r for l1 that means for brass strip length l1 will be equal to r and this distance is d so this small distance will be d by 2 so r plus d by 2 into phi in the same way if you consider for a steel strip l2 equal to r so this we have to minus so minus d by 2 r minus d by 2 into phi so these are about lengths of brass strip and steel strip and let me consider that l naught 
एल नॉट बी द लेंथ एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्शियस एट जीरो डिग्री सेल्शियस एल नॉट इज द लेंथ ऑफ द बोथ द स्ट्रिप्स ब्रास एंड स्टील सी फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एक्सपेंशन वी नो दैट एल वन इक्वल टू एल नॉट इन टू वन प्लस अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस एल वन इक्वल टू एल नॉट इन टू वन प्लस आल्फा वन टी एंड एल टू सो दिस इज फॉर ब्रास स्ट्रिप एंड कमिंग टू द स्टील स्ट्रिप एल टू इक्वल टू एल नॉट इन टू वन प्लस आल्फा टू सी फॉर ब्रास स्ट्रिप दिस इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एक्सपेंशन सो आल्फा वन आई हैव टेकन एंड फॉर स्टील स्ट्रिप आल्फा टू इज द क्वेश्चन ऑफ लीनियर एक्सपेंशन ऑफ स्टील सो एल टू इक्वल टू एल नॉट इन टू वन प्लस आल्फा टू टी सो दीज आर आल्फा वन एंड आल्फा टू नाउ प्लेस द आल्फा वन एंड आल्फा टू इन दिस इक्वेशन सो वील गेट एल नॉट ऑफ वन प्लस आल्फा वन टी इज इक्वल टू आर प्लस डी बाई टू इंटू फाइव इन द सेम वे फॉर दिस वन एल टू वैल्यू एल नॉट इंटू वन प्लस आल्फा टू टी इज इक्वल टू आर माइनस डी बाई टू इंटू फाइव सो इफ यू टेक द रेशियो ऑफ दिस टू स्ट्रिप्स एल नॉट एंड एल नॉट विल गेट कैंसिल फाइव एंड फाइव विल गेट कैंसिल सो now do cross multiplication for this 1 plus alpha 1t into r minus d by 2 is equal to 1 plus alpha 2t into r plus d by 2 now multiply both this uh, both these equations with r and uh, both the this equation this uh, uh, terms with d by 2 so we'll get like this 1 plus alpha 1t if you bring this one this side minus 1 minus alpha 2t into r and this will be equal to 1 plus alpha 2t if you bring this side and here this is minus d by 2 so again it will be plus only plus alpha 1t into d by 2 so if you see here plus 1 minus 1 will get cancel and here we will get alpha 1 plus alpha 2 into t sorry minus alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into t and here the, that is r that is equal to here 1 plus 1 2 2 plus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 into t, and that is equal uh, into d by 2. And here one more thing, wh what we have to discuss is this alpha 1 plus alpha 2. See these alphas values are very small, uh, such as that 10 to the power of minus 6 microns. So if the if we add that uh, 10 to the power of minus 6 also, the value will be very small. so we have to neglect this so after neglecting so cancel this 2 uh, and 2 so we'll have mm, r equal to d by alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into t so whole term will be neglected here so the radius of the strip r equal to or radius of curvature of the strip r equal to d by alpha 1 minus alpha 2 into t where d is the distance between the center of two strips see d is the distance between center of two strips so like this we will find out the radius r 